Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the playwright. This is one of the very popular automation tools for web-based application. This provided by the and owned by the Microsoft. Okay, and uh, the, it has very nice features. Lot of features are available here in this tool. Okay, let's first introduce about the playwrights and its features. As you can see here, playwrights enable reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web apps. Okay. It has some features like any browser, any platform, one API. Okay. Like this is a class browser supported the class browser it supports mod rendering engine modern rendering engine including chromium babkit and firefox if i am talking about the class platform it supports windows linux mac we can run locally as well as we can run using ci tool okay headless and headed both supported Class language that supports programming language like TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET, Java. So these programming languages we this supported. Okay, as per our convenience, we can use any programming language in which we are much comfortable. Test for the mobile web. Okay, native mobile emulators of, of Google Chrome. Okay, Android and mobile Safari. This supports, right? The same rendering engine works on your desktop and in the cloud environment. Okay, next, re resilient, no flaky test. Okay, it has auto weight functionality, which is automatically weight the elements before going to perform the action. Okay, wave first assertion. Playwrights provide some assertions by using that, we can verify the dynamic waves, okay? Check are automatically retried until the necessary condition are met. For the tracing, we can configure retry strategy, capture execution trace, videos, screenshot, we can capture. Browsers run web content along with the different origin in the different process. Okay, Playwright is aligned with the modern browser architecture and run tests out of process. Multiple everything, right? The test scenario that has supposed that multiple tabs, multiple origins be required, multiple users, so this will support. Okay, we can run. Trusted events like Hopper interact with the dynamic control, produce trusted event, okay, it support. Test frames, fire shadow DOM, playwright selector, fires shadow DOM, and allow entering frame seamless. Means it will support shadow DOM as well as the iframes. Full isolation, fast execution, browser context, right? Similar type if we are running the Selenium web driver, it will run separate profiles of the browsers. Similar type, playwrights create a browser context for each test. It means if we are running multiple tests parallelly, so our tests will run independently without impacting other browsers. So because this, this is running the browser context for each test. Login in one, right? It provides a functionality where we can store the login credential. Okay, once we log in, in the application, we can store the authentication state in the file. And in the next remaining test script, we can inject this value. Okay, so it will buy helps to bypass the login. Okay, so this will be very helpful and to avoid the repetitive login operation in other test case, each test cases. And okay. It delivers full isolation of the independent test, so test will also run independent. It has also some powerful tooling like code gen, okay, generate the test, 
by recording your exam because we can use the recording and save them in save them into any programming language playwrights provide a inspector using this inspector we can generate the selectors okay and other things we can do trace view captures all the information to investigate the test failure so it is will provide a trace viewer using that features we can investigate the failure of the test cases okay it contains the test execution screenshot live dom snapshot actions explorer test source many more so we will discuss in more details in the coming tutorials videos okay so now as we discuss this is supported multiple programming language and uh, so and if we want to go with any programming language documentation so we have here drop down okay select the programming language in which we want to go like i am going to select the java select java programming language option from drop down okay now here java doc is selected document is selected click on the docs or click on the get started okay you can see here first and playwrights provide a very nice documentation this will be very helpful to create the test case to study the playwrights concepts so similar type if we want to go with the work in java with selenium or other it is that's provide a maven dependencies okay playwrights also provide the maven modules dependencies which we can include in our pom.xml file okay so i am going to create a project from very scratch okay so first of all if we need to create the maven project in the eclipse so click on the project go to the maven click on next next Here we can select archetype. So I am going to prefer to use Apache, like Maven, Arc, Type, Quick Start. Okay, this template archetype I am going to use. Click on Next. Here we need to provide the project. Like I am giving test project playwright okay package name com dot test added click on finish button okay you can see here at left side project is created now open the pom.xml here by default it's added 1.7 let me update this with 1.8 because minimum 8 version we required. And then right click on the project, go to the Maven and click on update project. You can see this is changed from 1.7 to 1.8. Okay, now this dependency here, you will you can find the dependency, copy this dependency go to pom.xml file okay add under the dependency section here yeah. so we need to include the playwrights dependency in the maven project okay it will automatically add the drivers and playwrights library okay right click create one java file like playwright test here we have a simple example we can copy this main method section okay and paste in this java file okay now we need to include the required classes okay importing pages all these three classes are imported okay now we can run just right click run as java application so by default it will run in headless mode okay if we want to run in headed mode then we need to make the 
uh, headless false okay you can see it runs successfully and here we are trying to get the title and on the console you can see the title of the page is retrieved fast and reliable end to end testing for modern web playwright so this is the title of the application you can also see here the title of the page fast and reliable end to end testing for modern web playwright right right so it's working now how we use the uh, run in headed mod not headless mod okay so you can see here there is option we can pass the some uh, browser type launch options in the launch method this option we need to pass okay create new browser type object so new browser type object dot launch option method okay dot set headless false okay by default its value is true but if we pass the here set headless equal to false it will run in headed mode okay let me run now now you will see it will invoke the browser and test will execute yeah run successfully and we are getting here the title so in the coming tutorials we will discuss more about to the like uh, playwrights functionality okay and uh, so keep watching the videos and uh, subscribe the channels so that you can get the notification when we upload any new video thanks for watching the video